Hi, thanks for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you how to take an object out of a panorama picture. Now what I did is I took my Insta360 ONE X camera, mounted it on a tripod and took two pictures. One with me standing in one place and the second a few seconds later me standing a couple of feet to the right. Okay, that's necessary to take it that way because you're going to use both pictures in order to compensate for some areas that are lost. You'll understand in a second. Let's first look at the two pictures. All right. Now, I already placed them on my hard drive and I started up the, um, uh, the Insta360 desktop software. And here's picture number one. Picture number one, you can see there are two people in there that I want removed. This is me and this is someone else I don't know. The second picture, you see me in a different location, just like I said. Okay. Now, before I do anything with these pictures, I want to take away the tripod. Let me show you here what I mean with that. When I take a picture on a tripod, you'll see on the bottom here the nadir, which is the bottom part of the picture and it only shows the three legs of the tripod the extension uh, the, the extended selfie stick is actually invisible but the bottom you can see now what I what you can do is you can take this image and copy it and place it over the tripod legs but what you can also do is add a custom logo on the bottom which is what I did okay I did it for this one and I did it for the next one all right let me show you in this way Okay, this is the second picture. That's it. Okay, so now I'm going to export these pictures because I'm not going to do anything else with it within the Insta360 Studio software. I'm actually going to edit it in Pixelmator Pro. So let me first export this. I'm going to export it to my hard drive. I'm going to keep the naming convention the same. Export it the first one. There it is, finished. And I'll get rid of that one. Second. File, export, and say OK, and it's done. Clear it, close it, and we'll close off the studio. OK, now, if all is correct, if we look in the folder, we see this file and the next file, which we just exported. Now, let's start up Pixelmator Pro, and you can also use Photoshop or any other editing software, really. Okay, let me see, there we go. Pixelmator Pro. And it asks me to open up files. So let's take that first file and open it. Make it a bit larger. Here you see that same picture with the logo on the bottom, but stretched. And here's that person and here's another person. Let's get rid of those first. What do you do? Well, first you take your selection tool and you subtract. This is the, the option you use, subtract. And I'm going to highlight myself here for a second. Okay, now go to edit and cut that piece out. Deselect it and let's do it another time with the other place where we want this person out. Edit, cut, deselect and that's it. Now let's take the next Photo, let me see you there, here we go, photo number seven. Let's add that one and overlay it, or underlay it, I should say. And there we go, the picture's gone. And the reason how we do that is, if I move, move this around, you can see myself standing here. But the other picture is overlapping it, right? And the empty places, so these two empty places, oh, you can't see it that way. These empty places, these, are being filled by the other picture. Okay, that's how you do it. Now let's merge these two files, select them both, select merge, and it's a one file. If you want to change some of the coloring, you can do that down here. Do it for the whole picture, not individual parts with a brush or anything. If you want to change it, the coloring or the temperature in this case, or the black points or the contrast or the brightness, whatever you want to do, you can change it as long as you do it for the whole picture. Okay, done. 
let's export it. Okay, then we're gonna name it not me in the picture. Export. That's it. That's all you need to do. Now, rather than finishing off right here, let's go see that 360 panorama picture. How do we do that? Well, let me grab some other software, what I always use. And the software that I use is um, called Visor. Okay. And Visor is a service, an online service that allows you to upload your panoramic pictures and they will create either a virtual tour or, or a 360 view and it will give you URLs so that you can share that with other people. So let's log in, it's, it's really easy. Let's log in, I'll go into my account, I'll create a new project, okay? And once I do this, you'll understand what I meant. Okay, this is the not me in the picture JPEG, which we just created. Let's drag it up here. And there it is. All right. There's nothing in there. I'm not in there anymore. And that other lady that I removed is not in there either. Now you can do all kinds of fun stuff with this, but what it comes down to is you can publish this and you can share it with others. So let me just share it rather than publishing it. Copy the link. I'll show you, show you how quickly it goes. Go to a new tab. Take that link that we just copied, paste it, and go there. And voila, here's the picture. You can take that link and send it to anyone you'd like, you know, through WhatsApp, through mail, through whatever medium you wish to do, and you can send that. Obviously, you can do virtual tours and everything with this application. Uh, so go out and check out visor.io. It's pretty neat stuff. Um, and again, you see how easy it is to take an object out of a picture. The, the, the basic requirement is when you take those two pictures, you need an area where nothing else is happening in behind you. So if there's a lot of movement behind you of cars passing by or people walking by, then it's gonna be kind of difficult to take out your own picture and your own area and then replace it with the one in the background because then the might, it just might not work. So the easiest is if you have an area like this square where nothing really is happening. Uh, it's, it's really easy to do it that way. So, okay, I hope this was useful for you. I hope you enjoyed this and that you can start making your own pictures without you inside. Obviously, you can do the opposite as well, where you can be put in there multiple times, and I'll be showing you that in the next video. All right, I'll take care and see you later. Bye-bye.